Hey, 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 everyone. Yes, it's Dr. Tamara Beckford with Your Curing Dogs. And I have my sister in here, the one and only Dr. Catherine Toomer, CEO, founder of Health and Wellness and Weight Loss Center. Yes, and we are going to help you all. Now, <clears throat> It is the day before Thanksgiving. And I know a lot of you guys are like, okay, you know, you're talking about how I can avoid gaining weight during this mm -hmm. latter half of the year. You're going to try to spoil my Thanksgiving. And we're here to say, no, 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 we're not. Nope. <laughs> right? We're going to let you know how you can actually enjoy all the goodies. And like you said, Dr. Tumor, was that what? Any of the none of the game. There we go. All the goodies, none of the game. None of the game. None of the all right. So uh, it's you know, turkey, turkey, turkey all around. That's mm -hmm. what we said. For those who are plant-based or vegetarian or vegan, to furkey to furkey to furkey for all you guys, right? But how do you make it through this latter half of the year? Mm -hmm. So some people, the pandemic done did us dirty. We gained mm -hmm. all the extra weight, right? Mm -hmm. And some people have been trying to lose weight, but then now it's the holiday season, mm -hmm. which usually yes. packs on an extra at least four pounds and it takes one year to get rid of it. Nah, you're not mm -hmm. going to do it this year, right? Some no. people are like, well, what's the point? Why should I even yeah. start now? Well, we can let you know how mm -hmm. you can enjoy all of the goodies, like we said, and none of the none of the game. All right, so Dr. Tumor, take a seat. Uh -huh. Let okay. us know how, how you, you have okay. this trademark program that you yes. have put together based mm -hmm. on your experience. So yes. let us know what your experience is and why you know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Well, in 2001, mm -hmm. I was obese. I was an insulin dependent diabetic. And one month after my daughter was born, I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Hmm. And I needed to lose weight and um, was told I was too high risk when I asked for help from various places. Mm -hmm. And so I created my own program and I used that program to lose 60 pounds in about six mm -hmm. months, got off insulin and mm -hmm. I've kept it off since. And that was about 20, you know, 20 years ago. Right. So I've been through, I've been through 20 holiday seasons. That's right. That's what it's 20 Thanksgivings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if anyone in my family can tell you, I eat. I, 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 <laughs> I don't leave anything on the table. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Now, a lot of times when you hear none of the gains, the first thing you're thinking is, okay, so I'm just going to look at everything and I'm mm -hmm. not going to be able to enjoy it. I might have to eat the paper version of the stuff, right? Ooh, it's just, it's just looking like straight paper is flavorless. No, you know, no enticing. I can't enjoy the juices in my mouth to really break down this wonderful meal. I'm not enjoying it. And I'm staring and probably giving nope. a side eye to the rest of my family. That's not how it works. <laughs> you know, That's not no how it works. Eyes, no not side how it works. Needed this, this holiday yeah. season. All righty. Well, so what, okay. let us know how, how we can go about avoiding those side eyes. Okay. Well, first of all, I'd like to say this. Mm -hmm. If someone's on their weight loss journey, mm -hmm. not gaining weight during the holidays is the same as losing weight the rest of the year. Can we say that again for those in the back? <laughs> those who are trying to lose weight, who have been losing weight throughout the year. Mm -hmm. If you go through the holidays, not gaining weight, I mean, not losing weight mm -hmm. or not gaining weight mm -hmm. is the same as losing weight in other parts of the year. Wow. So, and mainly the reason why I say that is because you've, um, the guilt, if you start beating yourself up mm -hmm. about losing your progress or slowing down your progress, it changes what your body does with food. Mm -hmm. Your cortisol levels go up. And so mm -hmm. what you eat gets turned into fat rather yeah. than gets turned into fuel. Mm -hmm. And so enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> that's my, that's my rule. Number one, enjoy it. Mm. Cause it doesn't make sense to do anything if you're not going to enjoy it. Absolutely. So yeah. like we said, if you have been able to maintain your mm -hmm. weight during the holiday season, it's just as if you, it's similar to losing weight throughout mm -hmm. the rest of the year. Why? Yeah. Because if you're there sitting and stressing, when well, we talked about cortisol, cortisol is a stress hormone. Once it starts to come out, it's turning everything into fat, which is the opposite mm -hmm. of what you're trying to do, right? So right. 
if you're not stressing, you're enjoying. Yep. Exactly. Right. Like that's that the whole dope, point of the that holiday. dopamine kick in. Yeah. So, um, so that's rule one number one. Enjoy mm-hmm. yourself. Mm-hmm. And then, so this is I can just give you the steps. There's really eight easy steps. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So, step number one: 60 minutes before eating, drink a protein shake. Mm. Step number two: mm-hmm. drink a glass of water before putting anything in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Step number three, start with a small plate Mm -hmm. of just protein and vegetables. There we go. Just a small plate. Nothing that's Mm going to make you full or fill you up. Just enough to get your body focused on something else besides the carbs you're about to get in that second plate. Not to take it down. (laughs) Yes. So then Mm -hmm. the next step is then you get all your goodies. Mm. but still have protein, still Mm -hmm. have vegetables. Try to make half your plate still Mm -hmm. protein and vegetables and -hmm. then fill the rest of the plate with all the other stuff that you want. All right. The macaroni and cheese, whatever you get. And the thing is, Mm -hmm. a lot of the things that are made that seem like, oh my gosh, I can't eat this. Mm -hmm. If you don't avoid fat, during the holidays, which you don't have to do if you're trying to really lose weight, especially people who under people who are keto diets know this. Mm-hmm. But if you don't have if you're if you don't have to avoid fat, things mm-hmm. like macaroni and cheese actually is not as bad as some of the like eating a roll. Oh like, wow! The carbs and macaroni and cheese because you have the fat to kind of mitigate some of the carbs. Absolutely. But put a, so half a plate, protein, vegetables, mm-hmm. and a little bit of everything else on the rest of the plate. Mm. Then. For des- the for dessert, and I'll Go talk ahead. about this in just a minute. <laughs> so, this is the trick that I do. Mm-hmm. I pretty much eat one slice of something, mm-hmm. the size of one slice. However, mm-hmm. that size can be lots of different things. Okay. So, if there's three or four different types of dessert, you can take slivers of every single kind of dessert there is, and it gives you a whole piece. Mm-hmm. So a sliver of chocolate cake, a sliver of, you know, pecan pie, a sliver of apple pie, a sliver of whatever. Then once you get all your desserts, add something nice and fatty and creamy with it, like sugar-free whipped cream or Cool Whip or mm-hmm. heavy whipping cream or um, or ice cream even. Mm-hmm. Um, limit is, If you can get sugar-free ice cream, even better, because then the, you just get all the fat and you don't get any of the sugar. Mm-hmm. Now, the... One thing that you should never, ever, ever do is mm-hmm. drink your sugar. Yeah. There is not, there's very little you can do to counter what your body does with absorbing liquid carbohydrates. Mm. So the best thing to do is to use a sugar-free substitute mm-hmm. or drink water with lemon. Mm. Um, and so, and then when you have mixed drinks, you do the same thing. You start your base, which is sugar-free, and then mm-hmm. add whatever liquor you want to it. Okay. Beer is another story. Now, when you start drinking beer, that's all carbs. And again, that's the same as soda. Oh, so wow. you know, try to stay away from beers, from the ciders, mm-hmm. sodas. Those are all the same thing. Just liquid carbs. Yep, liquid carbs. Even juice. Juice is another one, liquid carbs. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever turned mm-hmm. around a juice bottle and looked 56? Oh, know. my gosh. You're like... <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, we mm-hmm. give people orange juice when their blood sugar is too low. Yeah. So can you imagine if you have normal or if your blood sugar is already high? Mm-hmm. If you're insulin Always. resistant or you've got prediabetes or whatever, yeah. basically what you're telling your body is, I just want to make fat today when I drink orange juice. I like that. So when you look at that bottle of orange juice and you're just gulping it down, you just just really think about it. Like, oh, I just told my mm-hmm. body, I just want to make some fat today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm so, not, you know, yeah. all righty. So right now we've broken it down. There are eight steps. Mm-hmm. I think we just gone through the first four, right? So we. Well, said, I went through all of them. I just didn't name. I just. I didn't. I. I, I forgot. Get, get this is what happened. The whole step. I, lo- I lost track of what number I was on. So I said the next step, and then nice. the next step. <laughs> So Alrighty, I, so I got we're through gonna... three or four, and then the <laughs> others just kind of was the next step. 
Alrighty, so well, let's break it down for all those in the back okay. or those in the front row who didn't get to write okay. down all the notes, right? So okay. we're saying that you can really enjoy this holiday mm -hmm. season and get to eat yes. what you want. You just mm -hmm. have to be smart about how you do it. Mm -hmm. And yes. after we go through these steps, we're going to go through why it works mm -hmm. because it's just basically using the body's physiology. So this is how the way to the your, body to your work. advantage. Exactly. Yeah, to your advantage. So mm -hmm. you said an hour before your meal. So those of you mm -hmm. guys, you know, most people on Thanksgiving, your meals are what, like 4 p.m. sharp. We're mm -hmm. going to be, we're starting yeah. dinner at four. So if you're starting dinner at four, at mm -hmm. three o'clock, you're having a protein shake, right? Mm -hmm. Before you chow down into that first meal, you're going to have a glass of water right there, right? So you've already mm -hmm. slowed down that process. So your body's mm -hmm. not craving like, gimme, gimme, gimme. It's like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much. It's a more polite, like, thank you mm -hmm. for bringing this extra meal to me. It's not like, gimme, yeah. gimme, gimme, <laughs> you know? So then you start off your plate and you're having half of your plate. You have a protein vegetables. No, the first plate is only vegetables and protein. Ooh, there we go. First small plate, only vegetables small and plate, it's a yes. little bit. Don't fill up on it. Mm -hmm. Just enough. Just enough to get your Something body like a distracted. Plate. So no, it's like a dessert plate. But basically mm -hmm. what you're doing is you're mm -hmm. getting your body distracted ah. so that it won't hone in on the carbs when you eat them. Right. That's essentially what all it is. So it's kind of preparing your body to be a very um, polite visitor. Mm -hmm. right? yes. So it's not going to act all aggressive to the carbs. You're polite exactly. because you get, so you're getting a polite visitor that you've mm -hmm. entered into at the dinner table. Nice. Yep. So small yep. plate, mm -hmm. vegetables, mm -hmm. and then your next meal after that. We're that's doing the goodies start. Ooh, that's what we started. But you notice that's just the start of the goodies. It's not even the mm -hmm. end of the goodies. It's not the beginning and the end yep. of that plate because yep. you still have your next few mm -hmm. steps, right? So we have our plate now. We half of it, vegetables, protein, and mm -hmm. then we're doing at least what a quarter of our carbs or the different. No. The no. other half of the plate can be your carbs. See, this is think about it because you want mm -hmm. your carbs to be about, you know, 20, difference between 20% of the total. Mm -hmm. So when you add in that first plate mm -hmm. plus the half of the second plate, mm -hmm. it's still more than the other half of the carbs. carbs. Brilliant. And you're just yeah. really using your body's physiology. Mm -hmm. So now after all of that, it's not like you said, okay, well now I hit the carbs. I'm done. I'm looking at everybody and I'm, I'm side eyeing everyone you know, able to eat dessert, you are still able to still get able dessert to dessert. afterwards. And this yeah. is all using your body's physiology and not trying mm -hmm. to overload your body on mm -hmm. excessive um, carbs or sugar mm -hmm. and, you know, overloading, um, especially if you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, mm -hmm. right? The so other is the dessert. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, the re one other thing though, is that eating is, we well, you, you should use all your senses when you're enjoying something. Right. And so when you look at a plate and there's something missing, then you'll you'll feel it. So cool. just so when you look at that plate, you 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 we go into the holidays with expectations. Absolutely. And a lot of those expectations in the family time is around family and food. Mm -hmm. And so but we'll talk a little bit more about people who have difficulty during the holiday and they're eating during mm -hmm. holidays as well, mm -hmm. but during celebrations. And so you don't want to deprive yourself at that moment because it takes away from the, the celebration of it. That's true. The warm. And so what yeah. you do is in that second plate is it gives you all your comfort foods along with everything else. Mm. And, and also, as anyone mm -hmm. can tell you, there's always that cousin. There's always that friend. There's always somebody saying, that's all you're going to eat. <laughs> you can't Are you on, I can't here. believe you're coming and, and you're on a, still on that diet. Well, see what happens is you eat the plate and then you have them say, I thought you said you were on a diet. Why are you <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you could just tell them, well, I heard this doctor on. <laughs> Link on, on that video, YouTube. and she told me this is how I can do it. I can, she said, I can eat this. Mm -hmm. um, 
And so that's what it does. It just, and then you, and you want to just focus on the experience because again, Absolutely. it just fills up your senses and it just, and it, it tells your brain mm -hmm. that you're eating. So that message gets to your brain. And so you don't you overeat. And, and the other thing it. that we're saying too now, like we talked about being like that polite guest. Mm -hmm. So you're eating, but you're not mm -hmm. scarfing the food down. You need to eat, eat it slowly. slowly and enjoy it and mm -hmm. let your body, like you said, recognize that I'm eating. And not only am mm -hmm. I eating, but I love this. Yes. And then your body's like, really? I can do all of this mm -hmm. and I'm not going to be excess. I Make that out of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. The other is also um, a lot of people don't chew their food <laughs> very well. You, uh, your food should be liquid in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, in you should, your liquid. In your throat. <laughs> exactly. So you should, you, your food should be like liquid by the time you swallow it. Mm -hmm. That does a lot of things. One of it, it slows you down. Mm -hmm. The other is it breaks your food down into smaller particles so that when digestion occurs, it's more efficient uh -huh. and efficient digestion mm -hmm. means efficient, efficient function of why you eat, you pull out the nutrients. And when you pull out the nutrients and you want the nutrients, you're less likely for it to say, okay, I, I've got too much of this. I'm going to throw it in a fat cell mm -hmm. because that's, that's what our right. body does. Whenever our body comes in contact, like food that it doesn't recognize, mm -hmm. which is why processed things should be avoided. Mm -hmm. If it's not something that's natural, that comes from the ground or comes from an animal, there's a chance that your body's not going to know what to do with it. Mm. And so we'll turn it, we'll store it as fat until it can figure it out. Yeah. It's like, it, it, it's kind of, I mean, if you really think about it, we're like that. I need to put all this away. Well, I don't know what to do with this excess thing. You mm -hmm. throw it in the closet. Or, or, or a junk drawer. A yes. So your so your storage fat cells is your body's junk drawer. So exactly. it's like, I don't know what to do with this made up food that you exactly. just gave me. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't recognize mm -hmm. it. I don't know how to break it down. I'm gonna just put it in my junk mm -hmm. drawer, aka yeah. fat cells. So exactly. think about it when you're eating. And that's I think that mm -hmm. really plays on why we're saying a lot more natural food because your body can break mm -hmm. it down. I love you said that it comes from the earth. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of food. Um, I'm from the Caribbean, you know. Shout mm -hmm. out to all my family who came from all over. They're down here in Texas visiting. Mm -hmm. You know, we um eat a lot of what food that does come from the earth, the um, mm -hmm. yams. And I think that um, Nigerians, they eat the same yams too. I think they might call it yami or nyami. Um, when we go in, we just call it yams. When we come here to the United States, we don't recognize the names of it. <laughs> we just had to go to a Caribbean food place in order to get the names because what we're the names mm -hmm. we're used to is so different than the names that's being used here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But we love the you know a lot of that, and some of it are mm -hmm. it's carbs, it's starch, it's mm -hmm. yams, it's potatoes, but it's grown, it's from the earth. You know, it's mm -hmm. not really processed. And then it's cooked yeah. like my aunt Jean, she's up there cooking a storm. She might be watching yeah. this. Hello, hello to her and to my mom <laughs> and Aunt Flo. We're cooking, cooking, cooking. But, you know, that's a lot of the food. But also mm -hmm. that runs in the family is mm -hmm. diabetes. And, you yes. know, oh, my Uncle George, <laughs> he says, great info. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So mm -hmm. a lot of this, too, is, um, you know, ways that we know that we can learn how to eat enjoy the food and, mm -hmm. and not deal with the consequences of it so mm -hmm. you dr tumor let's talk about mm -hmm. like you know you've been able to reverse mm -hmm. the diabetes yeah not only well, it, and and limits or i should say the amount yeah. of intake of your medications you're able to really yeah. let go a lot of stuff and yeah. not only you be doing that but you're doing that and you're also teaching others mm -hmm. how to do it now, a yes. lot of people feel like it's the holidays. Should mm -hmm. I just give up? I'm diabetic. My sugars are going to be high. I, I mean, I really they don't, don't have to be. Go ahead. Tell them how. <laughs> okay. The way they don't have to be. Mm -hmm. And part of it is, again, if you eliminate sugar from all the things that you can, mm -hmm. as best you can, don't drink them mm -hmm. and try and don't eat it in the form of sugar. But mainly when you start with protein. Mm hmm that helps keep your blood sugar down. So you're protein loading instead of mm -hmm. carb loading. 
Absolutely. And that's how, so the, that first small plate is what helps prevent the carbs in the second plate from mm-hmm. causing your blood sugars to shot, shoot to up. just spike. Yes. So, you know, and I noticed strategically the way how you have placed the information, right? So mm-hmm. we have the protein shake. So you're preparing mm-hmm. the body. So yep. the body is going to be, like I said, a guest that is a mm-hmm. well-mannered guest at the table. Yeah. <laughs> so it's protein. And then you're also having a little bit of the, we having a lot of <laughs> people who are saying hello and thanks for the hello. tips. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, and then you're also, which are the carbs we know are the one that really spikes the sugar, but carbs mm-hmm. are also part of comfort food and comfort yes. food from a lot of culture overall. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it doesn't matter what culture you are, like a lot of comfort mm-hmm. food. Comes Just load up on protein first. There we Just go. load up on protein before you eat it. And the thing mm-hmm. is, is that um, there's a couple of things. Mm-hmm. One, our body is primed for carbohydrates because it's our it's our brain's drug that's true glucose it carbohydrates get broken down to glucose and mm-hmm. our brain functions off of glucose or ketones mm-hmm. but that's a whole nother story <laughs> so what happens and we talked about this a little bit before mm-hmm. but what this does what happens is in our mouths we mm-hmm. have saliva and in saliva is amylase mm-hmm. it's an enzyme it breaks mm-hmm. down carbohydrates mm-hmm. it's the only food substance of the protein, fat, and carbs Mm -hmm. that is broken down in our mouths. And the reason that is, it tells the brain, get ready, your drug's about to come. Yes, it's like, yo. And I love the fact you notice too, like Mm -hmm. we said, that enzyme, it starts with, so as soon as you touch and it Mm -hmm. touches your tongue, that Mm -hmm. saliva that rushes in, Mm -hmm. it's breaking it down. You told, you can smell it and it will happen. Yeah, that's true. Because you're, it's all connected. That's true. So your yeah. brain is now getting ready to say, oh, you know what's going on? Your brain is like the parties of thoughts. I know. I'm like, I know. And so what happens is, so the way to mitigate that is using as much protein as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but just so you know, this can be done not just for Thanksgiving, but any celebration. Someone asked me before, what about buffets? Exactly the same way. True. Start off with protein, mm-hmm. then have protein, and then have the other little goodies with it mm-hmm. after that. Now, we talked about the dessert. All yes. Right. So now we know we got the pies. Is it pie season? Yes, it is pie season. Mm-hmm. Pies everywhere. Apple, yes. blueberry, pumpkin, mm-hmm. sweet potato, every kind of pie that mm-hmm. you can think of. Now, we also yeah. mentioned that you don't have to deprive yourself of the goodies. Mm-hmm. You ju- you can just do a sliver. You can get to a slice, but you can just do smaller slivers of all mm-hmm. the different yummies. Yeah, just limit that. Yeah, you just have to be smart okay. about the order, right? You're not doing that yeah. first because we talked about the brain. It's like, oh, yeah. we we starting to no, we we're gonna be and not every yet. single day. Now there's another there's another trick. Go ahead. Because there's gonna be leftovers. So everybody, so you do the same yeah. thing when you with leftovers. Absolutely. Oh. Start with the same protein first, then mm-hmm. protein plus the carbs. There we go. But mm-hmm. let's be realistic. Sometimes there are plates of cookies sitting around, or there's a piece of pie sitting around. This is the key. Yes. Always <laughs> protein shakes are around and have, keep, this is what I do. Take a vanilla mm-hmm. protein shake mm-hmm. and drink it like milk while you're eating something else and just limit that something else. So if you want a piece of cake, drink a protein shake with it mm-hmm. or right before Mm-hmm. Still protein load, but and then just don't go crazy with the size of mm-hmm. these. I think, and then the thing is too, when you are protein and getting that additional protein load, mm-hmm. the side so- your body is going to get satiated anyway. Mm-hmm. So the amount of the goodies you're going to mm-hmm. end up limiting it because your body is full, and your body will tell you, mm-hmm. "I'm full." Yeah. You know, except with carbs, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because our brain is like, you gave me my drug now, so that's it. It's like, keep it keep coming. More and more and more. And so especially if you're insulin resistant, pre-diabetic, diabetic, eating sugar makes you crave sugar. Mm. Because once your blood sugars go up, it, it. it starts this engine. And your brain's like, all right, you gave it to me. Now, this is the other thing, though. Mm-hmm. 
your blood sugars are high. And then what happens is that the way blood sugar gets into cells is with a mm -hmm. lock and key mechanism, sort of, so right. to speak. But you yeah, we got family. <laughs> I think we, so as you can see, we have somebody in the background, our your caring dog, who's like, yep, yeah. preach. And I'm like, like, I hear you. I want to, I want to party. So, yes. so then what happens is, um, so, but if, 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 so if the cell has these locks mm -hmm. and insulin is the key that goes into those locks to unlock mm -hmm. it so that glucose can go into the cell. Mm -hmm. When those cells get bombarded with too many keys or too much sugar, and mm -hmm. then too many keys start coming out trying to deal with that sugar to get it in, mm -hmm. it gets scared and closes its doors and won't let anything in. Ooh. So Ooh. that's insulin resistance, and that mm -hmm. then becomes type 2 diabetes. Right. Your blood sugars are high, mm -hmm. and your cells won't allow that sugar into them. Mm -hmm. Your brain is cell our cells. Absolutely. And so when yeah. that glucose does not get into your brain cells, your brain's like, where is my drug? I want it now. <laughs> Keep eating sugar until I get my drug. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so you just keep eating and eating and eating. It keeps going and going and going. It starts a vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. However, the beautiful thing about diabetes, you can reverse your blood sugars in one day. Say that again. You can reverse your blood sugars in one day. Just by using... What the just by uh, not eating carbohydrates and just, just by not eating sugar, just cut, if you if you want your if you want to know what it feels like mm -hmm. not to be diabetic, just try a really low carb diet for one day and it will sh and it will show you how much energy, how less tired you are. Wow. Yeah. Now, it depending on how long your blood sugars have been high, it might take some time for your body to adjust to that. However, you might be, you might be upset. blood sugar is immediate. It's it's. Blood sugar is based on meals. So mm -hmm. each time you eat a meal, you can correct your blood sugar. And so it doesn't take, it does not take long. It takes a few hours from your blood sugar to go down to make sure that the next thing you eat isn't something that's going to drive it back it's up again. Things. Right. So I have, someone is asking, they're like, do you recommend a particular protein shake? Mm -mm. There are many. What I do recommend, as long as it has about 30 grams of protein or more. There we go. There are many, many, many out there. One of the good things that have happened about mm -hmm. ketogenic diets, mm -hmm. which I don't totally recommend, I don't, you know, you can do it for a little while, but mm -hmm. always have a plan on what you're going to do when you have to stop because it's impossible to maintain. Mm -hmm. But because of that, there are a lot of high protein products out there. Mm -hmm. The very best are the ones you make yourself mm -hmm. at home, limited fruit because fruit is sugar. Sugar, yep. Lots of protein. And then you can also uh, work on how much protein you want to put in it. So somebody's asking, how do we break the craving? By not eating it. So how really? long do you think it? It's just really... It's psychological, some of it. But really, mm -hmm. if you don't, if you keep your blood sugars down, mm -hmm. you won't crave sugar as much. It's, mm. it's, it's carbs drive our appetite, mm -hmm. and then which turns into our blood sugar, and then mm -hmm. blood sugar drives... You craving more That's additional. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, but, but if you are someone who has a sugar craving, then you don't have an issue with uh, diabetes. Mm -hmm. That is a habit more wow. so than anything else. And that's a habit that has to be broken, much like nicotine. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a drug that's like nicotine. Right. And so often the best way, which we know from addiction of any kind, as long as it's not something that causes withdrawal, is to stop cold turkey. If you're somebody who just can't have a little bit, then you can't. Yeah, have it. just don't even. Don't, don't, don't even. start. So they're saying like, any tips for a low carb diet, mostly protein and vegetables. I guess the low carb. Um, if this is this is an easy way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, this is where processed foods become a problem because they have too many things mixed in and you can't really control the mm -hmm. configuration of the macronutrients. Mm -hmm. But essentially, you pick a protein. Mm -hmm. Plant-based, it can be tofu, it can be turkey, it can be any, you know, beef, chicken, whatever. Pick a protein, mm -hmm. then choose a vegetable. Preferably, the more colorful the vegetable, the better. Mm -hmm. Potato doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Neither does corn. Oh, or carrot. There we go. 
Although Corn. carrots are a little bit better, but still corn and, but still it's, still yeah. and peas can be, can drive up. If you're really sensitive, peas will drive up your blood sugar too. Oh, but wow. then you pick a leafy vegetable, the leafier, the greener, the more colorful, the, even the, the peppers, all of those are good. Mm -hmm. And then you can decide to have a carb or not. Mm. And when you do, you make sure like, so if you're, this is your plate, mm -hmm. you cut it in half and then you cut it in half. Right. That little section up here, you shouldn't have more than that of carbs on mm -hmm. your plate at any given time. And if you do that with every single meal you eat, mm -hmm. that is a low carb diet. And, and you don't have to think about, it. you don't have to measure anything. It's just, you look at your plate, you divide it in quarters and mm -hmm. you just make sure that the carb part is smaller than the, the rest of the plate. Right. And that's it. It's wow. very simple. So, so yeah. now we have some folks who are saying that mm -hmm. the cold turkey, they're like, have you seen that work? People just stop. Yes. yes. How do you think people quit smoking? Sugar is no different than, than nicotine. Yeah. When, wow. when someone's on drugs, mm -hmm. because really when you crave sugar, it is a drug to your brain. Yeah. So it really when like someone's that. on heroin, you don't have them cut back on heroin. You tell them to, you stop them and then you just work on the withdrawal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if someone's addicted to anything, you don't give them a little bit and say, okay, deal with it. Because most people can't. Now, if you're mm -hmm. someone who does stop mm -hmm. and can, can handle just a little, that's fine. But, and then there's some people who are just, you know, they have their triggers. Mine mm -hmm. is Oreo cookies. Ooh, Don't bring any Oreo cookies near me <laughs> because I will eat them. Or if they are, I won't eat them because I cannot eat one. One. It mm -hmm. will, it, it sets me off and I just, so I know this. So I, I avoid them. If yeah, I see Oreos, I go the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll get something food. else. But if I eat a piece of cake, it doesn't do that. Ah, so that's an interesting um, observation in where there are probably different types of uh, um, sugary substances. Ones, okay. If you are not addicted, ones that you might be able to tolerate and tell mm -hmm. yourself, okay, I can eat a small portion of this and some that you just mm -hmm. can't. You just know yeah. to stay away from it. So it's one of the things that you have to kind of know yourself and watch and see what you can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. They said, oh, so so my uncle's like, so what you having for Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> but I I have, well, my, my, my daughter's been cooking all day. She said she's handling it. So okay. we're having turkey, mm -hmm. um, we're doing turkey uh, stuffing, cornbread stuffing or cornbread mm -hmm. dressing. Mm -hmm. um, and what else is she making? Brussels sprouts. And I think, well, let me just put it this way. Two vegetables, the dressing, because that's my favorite, mm -hmm. turkey, and um, mashed potatoes. Okay. With gravy. There we go. Um, actually, I, you know what's sad? I should have looked at the menu, because this is one of the, the last two years, I haven't had to cook. This is the first time I've never had to cook, because I have grown children now, so they do all the cooking. They do but one thing she did make mm -hmm. that I am really looking forward to is a pecan pie. Ooh. Ooh, she made it beautiful, too. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> and the only thing that's missing is a little sliver of cheesecake to go with it. Because if you have, ever, if you ever want to, mm -hmm. I'm just feeding somebody's addiction right now. <laughs> you, but they, no, but they, the thing is that we told them how they can have yeah. all of this and enjoy. Mm -hmm. See, people are thinking that, well, you just told me that I need to do all this. Well, I'm going to be sitting there eating paper tomorrow. And you're like, mm, no, nope. I'm having. The other, though, I would want to say. <laughs> If you have a choice, mm -hmm. if you have a choice and you're just like, I want something for dessert, you're out at a party or you are at a restaurant and you decide you want to have dessert. One of the ways of doing that is to saying, OK, I'm going to have dessert. So on Thanksgiving, I mean, those goodies, you're, you're going to have the macaroni and cheese and you're going to have this stuffing. I mean, that's just going to happen. But mm -hmm. when you're out and you're somewhere else and you're not going to hurt anybody's feelings by not eating something, mm -hmm. you can have just a protein and vegetable meal a no carb meal mm -hmm. and then you have dessert with it and your dessert becomes your potatoes of the meal. Yeah. So it either dessert or you have a glass of wine if you want to have wine because wine is carb. Basically it's just fermented juice. So mm -hmm. it's sugar. But, um, but if you are somewhere and you're just like, I have a taste for something sweet, but I'm not sure what go for the cheesecake. Mm. 
really? cheesecake is is the fattiest, highest protein dessert usually on any menu. What? Because it's cream. That's so true. I didn't even think about it that way. It's cheese. Yeah, it's cream cheese. And mm-hmm. often they put sour cream in it. Some some have sour cream. Some have cream cheese. Some even put cottage cheese. I mean, there's all different ways of making um, the cheese? a cheesecake. But all of it, it's all cheese with eggs and mm-hmm. sugar thrown in. And sugar. So if you're going to have the sugar, have it with something that's fatty also. And, and cheesecake's the way to go. Nice. And then you just limit you limit how much you're going to have. So I'm just telling you, if you have the upper, ever have the opportunity mm-hmm. to have pecan pie, a little bit of pecan pie, and a little bit of cheesecake together, I'm going to say a shout out right now to my cousin. Go ahead, <laughs> see J- Geneva Johnson. Ooh, she makes the best pecan ch- pie cheesecake. Well, so she, she combines doing the combo. It. She does the co- ooh. Yeah. All righty. So, what's her name again? Because she's gonna be <laughs> I know she won't give me the recipe, so she, she's just like, okay. you just have to you wait till I make one. You could just send me the, the the cake. Thank you so much. Send you the piece. <laughs> so, someone is asking about white or red. I, I think that that's probably wine. Red wine mm-hmm. or white wine? Well, red wine has um, antioxidants in it that white wine doesn't. But mm-hmm. it's really the sweetness that matters. Um, wow. You start going for the Moscato. I mean, you're drinking juice. You're just drinking but it's really mostly, it's it's really any. But red is a little bit better, but not enough to make a difference. Oh, okay. Now my family want to come to your house for Thanksgiving. They said, pecan cheesecake, where should we be coming for dinner? <laughs> I love, love, love. You know, but the thing that I, I love about all of this, now we just really just laid out the whole, whole plan and how you can enjoy your Mm -hmm. holiday season and also how you can enjoy going out. Now, we did talk about um, if you were at a party or you're throwing a Mm -hmm. party, you and I have talked about this before, the best types of um, meals to to have would be, we said that, you know, having a Mexican meal is good. Yes, Mexican or Mediterranean. Or Mediterranean. Let's let Mm -hmm. them know why. So this is if you're okay. eating out or if you're throwing an office party or so on. If you're mm-hmm. in charge of the menu, order. These are the best. And the reason is mm-hmm. there are lots of different components to those meals. Mm-hmm. And they're all separate. They're not mixed together. Right. So you can control the amounts of whatever it is you eat. So with Mexican food, you always have a protein. So it's either beef, fish, tofu, chicken. Mm-hmm. You've got beans, black Pinto, um, mm-hmm. refried. Mm-hmm. You've got cheese. You've mm-hmm. got lettuce, tomato, cr- you know, sour cream, cream. guacamole. Yeah. Again, um, and so you can actually create a plate with absolutely no carbs on it. But if you want to, you just have a little bit of the rice, or you have a tortilla, mm-hmm. um, or you have a few of the chips. But you can create a plate that is full, that's filling, mm-hmm. that's enjoyable. That is very low carb. And you can do the same thing with Mediterranean food. If you start uh, like Greek food, you can do the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, Italian food is a little more difficult because it's pasta based. <laughs> <But, laughs> I know. But if pasta you were to do that, you'd ones. have to follow that rules that we talked about. Protein mm-hmm. shake an hour before, drinking water, vegetables, first small plate, half mm-hmm. a vegetable, and then you start doing your pasta. If you do the pasta first... Mm-hmm. You know how yeah. it is. Your brain is like and the other food. thing with pasta is you just make sure that the sauce has protein in it. Ah. If you have, because tomatoes are fruit. So if you have tomato sauce with pasta, basically that's just a whole carb meal. That's There's true. no protein in there. So Dr. Una says she's so happy that we're doing this. Yes, we're so happy to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, because we want everyone to enjoy. You're, you're going in. We don't want you stressing about that's the right. holiday season. Yeah. You're going to have fun. Oh, someone is saying that makes sense. I've I've done that before. Yeah. So right, it's now we're kind of mm-hmm. demystifying how to eat, how to mm-hmm. enjoy what you're eating, how to eat like when you go out. If you are trying to maintain your weight, if you're trying mm-hmm. to lose weight, if you're diabetic, how to really think about how the body processes. Because even mm-hmm. just that small little thing about processing. Um, the mm-hmm. carbohydrates that our body loves to break that down into sugar. So if you pop in something sweet, you don't have to put it in your mouth. You just look at it. Yeah, your body's like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're it your brain. <laughs> 
So you just kind of curve that mm. in, you know, like, yes, we're going to give you some carbs, but we need to taper mm -hmm. it. And we need to ensure yep. that we don't have spikes in our blood sugar, but mm -hmm. maintain and even keel blood sugar. And you feel mm -hmm. so much better. You're less lethargic. Yeah. You're less angry. You can think mm -hmm. things properly. Mm -hmm. You can do higher body. level function, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, cognitive things. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's so another fun. thing that people can do during the holidays mm -hmm. is if you're going somewhere and you're asked to bring something, make sure you bring something that you're comfortable eating and that you know you can eat a lot of. So like a lot of times people like take mini quiches or something that are, or the crust, you know, without the crust ones, you know, mm -hmm. or uh, charcuterie boards, you know, because yeah. they have a lot of cheese and meats and things mm -hmm. on them and olives. Um, so, you know, those are things that you can do and, and you know, or sugar-free drinks to make sure that there's something there that's sugar-free. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's lots of ways of getting through the holidays because mainly what it is, it's like a gauntlet and you have to kind of get through the gauntlet. And the best way to do that is to plan. Because yeah. if you fail to plan, plan, plan to fail. fail. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So now this wonderful thing, because we know people are starting to prep you know, we've been mm -hmm. going at this for 40 minutes. I know some people okay. prepping their Thanksgiving meal. Some people started yeah. cooking. So now you have the outline in your mind. Mm -hmm. But the great thing about it is that Dr. Tuma and I, we are here for you. So Dr. Yes. Tuma, let them know this wonderful program that you have put together for okay. them. For them. So essentially it. what the bottom line is, and the reason why this is sort of intuitive, mm -hmm. is I do use what I call the MIMO method. And we're not talking about the fish in the movie. Yes. That's MIMO. Trying so to you're find MIMO. MIMO. <laughs> you have to find MIMO. Mm -hmm. So what MIMO is, is the minimal, the minimum effort for the maximum outcome. Say that again for those in the back. The minimum effort for the mm. maximum outcome. All right. And the, the analogy I use is if you're trying to get through a room, you walk through it, you don't sprint. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with any other process. You just do it in the most efficient way possible. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to deprive yourself, but you have to make sure that at least you do this, mm -hmm. the minimum amount of this so that you can get the best outcome. And so the least, you know, so if you, you focus on proteins, Mm -hmm. then your outcome is going to be greater, or at least it, depending on what your goal is. Yeah. And so and um, and so, what I've done is I've taken that and I, I applied it to myself, mm -hmm. and then I apply it to, to my clients and my patients. And now what I've done is I've created an online version of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, starting in January, I'll actually have classes for weight loss. It will, there'll be weight loss classes for beginners, mm -hmm. for uh, another class for women over 40, a mm -hmm. class for men, and a class specifically for diabetics to right. reverse diabetes. Now, one of the things I just want to reiterate, mm -hmm. once you're a diabetic, you're always a diabetic technically. Right. You're just either a diabetic on medication or a diabetic off medication. Because mm -hmm. once you've had it, your body's always primed to go back to that if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. And Every five years or so, whatever mm -hmm. you do, you have to up it to maintain your blood sugar. So mm -hmm. if it gets to a point where you have reversed your blood sugar and you have to go back on medicine, don't beat yourself up. There's a certain point where you can't go any lower right. than carbs. You still have to eat them. And if your mm -hmm. body is just sensitive, you know, you just do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. So what is this wonderful program called? This wonderful program is actually the Health, Wellness, and Weight Loss Academy, and it's the whole You Total Weight Loss program, which is what mm -hmm. I developed. Using so I just want to let you guys know now, so she's developed this program. Mm -hmm. It's trademarked. So it's tested. She's done it for herself. Mm -hmm. 20 holiday seasons have passed, and you've been able to maintain a 60-pound weight loss. Actually gone 20. up more. It's 80 now. Ooh, girl, yeah. <laughs> doing it, 80 pounds. Yeah, I hit menopause and, you know, things started happening. So I had, to, I had to get strict. Menopause usually with us women, and that's why I love the fact that you have a program mm -hmm. for 
over 40 years old. Mm-hmm. Things just start to change. Things mm-hmm. are hanging a little bit different, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, right. different that's parts right. of our body, our metabolism changes. Mm-hmm. But you are able to, you've used this, you've tested it, you've tested mm-hmm. it on yourself. I did myself and, and yeah. others. I mean, I have I have uh, patients as, as old as 75 mm-hmm. who are losing weight. I mean, it's just, um, you know, but, but there's criteria that's different and there's some... Mm-hmm. You know, of course, you have to, you know, you, that's where your medical training comes in. You've got to, Absolutely. you know, be realistic and you have to make sure you're not hurting anyone. It's health, for, it's health wellness, weight loss in that order. Absolutely. Um, you know, so, so health and wellness. Uh, and then the byproduct of it is that you is weight loss. Weight yes. and maintain it and be able to keep it mm-hmm. off. Now, the other thing, too, I do want you guys to know. So Dr. Toomer is one of my premier docs in my Your Caring Society, which I have mm-hmm. out there for our busy professional women who are trying to put their health and wellness first. So now you guys know why I have her and she's going to be our Doc, who's going to start us off getting our mind right. She said health, Mm -hmm. wellness, and weight loss. So when we really think about weight loss, people are thinking that, hey, Mm -hmm. we're just going out and we're just going to lose weight. No. If you understand the health and the wellness, the weight loss happens, right? Yeah. And you're Mm -hmm. able to keep it off. So it's not a fly-by-night diet. Mm -hmm. It's not just a, oh, I lost these pounds, but I'm not really sure how I did it. Or I only did it for this time, but I can't maintain that particular mm-hmm. lifestyle. The lifestyle yeah. and understanding what's going on is important. Now, the Your Caring Society, we're having our wonderful guest speaker, Dr. Toomer. She's going to help us understand what's going on. So all that we just went through, you'll get it, right? And Well, you're going to be helping me out, too, in my what? program. <laughs> so you're going to be one of my guests. I'm a guest speaker. My expert guest. guest too, yeah, my. Yeah. What we're talking about, wellness, women putting mm-hmm. yourselves first. This is yes. why it's so important, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I do because shout not all the weight my... you have to lose is yours. Yes, it's and that's sometimes the thing. it's, it's in just... somebody else that's toxic that you need nope. to get rid of. Nope, 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 nope. It's all about you. Mm-hmm. It's it's a and it's a, it's a self centered way of yes. looking at your life, mm-hmm. right? It's yes. anything that you need to get rid of, and you're around other women who mm-hmm. are also on the same path, positivity path, yeah. a path of accountability, and also mm-hmm. wellness overall. So that's yes. what our society is about, right? Yes. So what about the men? We love you too, but we understand the women. How- they can tell them to come to me. If they, they that's right. So they Dr. Come on has over. you. She got you covered. She has the weight loss center towards and you. Well, and just so I put weight loss on there. But it's, it's mainly a, because it's most people care more about their weight than they do their health. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's but I don't focus. On, I don't just focus on. I can't focus just on weight. No, because you know what can lose care. weight. You can give somebody a pill and make them lose weight, but you can't. That doesn't make them healthy, though. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And so you have to do it through the idea of health. And so when you're going from a health standpoint, health is also your mind. It's your and your body. Mm-hmm. So the weight loss is part of it. But like some of that weight you have to lose is Mm -hmm. stuff that's just weighing you down. And so hello, (laughs) that's weight loss also. Yes. So the weight that the weight is some excess baggage. It's it's Mm -hmm. it's really sometimes you're holding on to things and Mm -hmm. the byproduct of that is the weight gain. Right. We talked about the cortisol Mm -hmm. stress, the excess stress is Mm -hmm. really leading to yeah. some of the weight gain. So if you understand what's going on overall in your body, and that's mm-hmm. where the wellness and the health part comes on, the byproduct mm-hmm. of that is um, weight loss. I'm telling you, Dr. Tuma is the real deal. She has patients that she's helping. Yeah, like, you're health. not. Oh, real. You real, talk. Too. real talk. Mm. Okay, real talk. <laughs> so Go ahead. She has helped patients with this weight loss by helping mm-hmm. them with their health and wellness. They've lost the weight. And they still won't leave. They're like, no, I'm staying. But she's like, but I've done all that I, you know, told you that I'll do for you. They're like, I know, but I'm still going to show up next week because, and it's because of the fact that we know that the process is not Mm -hmm. only about losing weight. It's about Mm -hmm. the excess and the journey towards that. All the person Mm -hmm. that you're coming is a better person. You're no longer fighting with your spouse. You're no longer Mm -hmm. angry about like minute things because you're able to release all of that because 
All of that is excess stress. So you're on a journey to health and wellness. Mm -hmm. And the byproduct of that is just so you happen to lose weight. So, exactly. And yeah. like I say, the journey is the destination. This never mm -hmm. ends. Absolutely. There's no end point. You just kind of mm -hmm. keep going and you enjoy it as you go along. Absolutely. So now what we need, you know, some people are sitting there wondering, like, how can I find you, Dr. Okay. Toomer? You know, how can I find this? Because they ask, does, does this work? Is this for men and for women? Dr. Toomer's? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, it is. She has special. So programs. I have I have one specific. And the reason why I separate them out, mm -hmm. uh, the women over 40 is because most of I mean, women are either worried about what um, menopause mm -hmm. is going to do, is doing or has done. Mm -hmm. And so men don't need that. Absolutely. And women don't be talking, talking about, about testosterone, <laughs> you know, or, or, you know, and there's men, you know, you're dealing with testosterone because one of the things that happens when you have extra pounds, mm -hmm. adipose or fat cells produce estrogen. So it drops your testosterone. So there's mm -hmm. things you have to do to get your testosterone back up mm -hmm. to get yourself feeling like yourself again. Absolutely. And so that it has to be separated out. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, and then the diabetic now, usually it really, if someone's a diabetic woman or a diabetic man, they can choose which one. Either one, either program will help. They're mm -hmm. going to, if they're successful or when they're successful, mm -hmm. um, it's going to control their diabetes anyway. I mean, right. no matter which program they take, they go to. But to find me, to answer your question, mm -hmm. it's drtumor.com, drtumor.com, and mm -hmm. then click on the weight loss tab and you'll mm -hmm. find all the information that you need. So yes, the answer, do I, men and women, yes. Diabetes, yes. Um, the journey is a destination, like Dr. Una says, yes. The, because this is something that is ongoing. And yes. But once you have the tools equipped, mm -hmm. you can enjoy the journey, right? Mm -hmm. No deprivation, yes. you're enjoying the journey. Mm -hmm. So drtumor.com and just click on the link. You'll see all of the wonderful mm -hmm. programs that she has. And like I said... Dr. Tuber Extraordinaire is also a part of my Your Caring Society. Yes, I can't, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. excited. I, yeah. excited. I mean, it's just, I, I, I have um, the, the wholeness of mm -hmm. it and the idea that this is something that is not just a one-time thing. You don't just go in and you sit for a lecture. It's all year long. Mm -hmm. And you just, or you, you can keep going in it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I mean, once you're in a community and mm -hmm. you've got that support and you have that accountability, it's hard to give it up. Yes. <laughs> it's really hard. And you don't really have to. It's like having your own little mini family separate from your other family. It's like the family Absolutely. you choose rather than the family you're born with. And mm -hmm. that's when you when I heard when I saw it, I was like, wow, this is powerful. It's really powerful. I, I mean, it's it's gonna be um it's gonna change a lot of lives. And that's what I definitely am set out to do, to change mm -hmm. these lives of the women. I know, like, my uncles are saying, well, what about us men? Well, oh, when yeah. us Just women... Just send your uncles to me. There we go. Hello, so come on. Us, she got them. you. <laughs> I got you. Just come on. <laughs> yes. So our, your caring society is helping our busy professional women. Yes. Yeah. Put their health and wellness first. You get the accountability, the support, the family, the guest speakers, extraordinary like you, Dr. Tumor, who are coming in and helping you to change lives. You're going through adversities. We have speakers who are helping you through adversities. as Dr. Camilla Williams, Dr. Andrea Stanata. We have the speaker, mm -hmm. Sexual Health. Now, we talk about sexual health a lot of times when people hear sexual mm -hmm. health, they're thinking about Viagra and Cialis and male sexual health. But sexual health is also important for women. And so we have exactly. one of the country's top docs, handful of doctors, who is a urologist and she is um, certified in male and female sexual health. We also have the wonderful Dr. Janika Benoit. Yes. yes. Our MedFit DO. Yes. Sports medicine trained yes. doctor who's helping you, you know, get, develop a habit so that you can maintain everything that we're going to pour into you. You can maintain it. That's just mm -hmm. very important. We have the wonderful Dr. Alicia Shelley. You know, All right. what happens to us, we are in a process and we said along this journey, you might lose weight in the past and have, you know, gained weight and then you start to feel down and you, especially those who might have gone through weight loss surgery. 
right? Mm -hmm. So she's going to help you to get you back on track. She's like, I got you. Dr. Mm -hmm. Shelly, she's running marathons. As a matter of fact, right yeah. now she's training for an Ironman. So you can follow oh. her, her journey. Didn't yeah. she just do the New York Marathon? She just did the New York she Marathon is a powerhouse. Two weeks ago, and oh, she started man. training. <laughs> so wow. she's finished week one training. Yes, they're all, like you said, yeah, they're all powerhouses. You know, mm -hmm. we and then sleep. Sleep is so important. And people, mm -hmm. we often neglect our sleep for other things, right? But mm -hmm. we have the Dr. Funke Ofalabi Brown sleep expert. And the way that Dr. Funke delivers the message, I love the way she delivers this powerful message. Mm -hmm. It resonates with you and then it becomes doable. Mm -hmm. And then every time you think about sleep, you're like, ooh, Dr. Funke, I, I promise I, I, I am going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I put that as an important part of my day. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have all of these lovely, lovely doctors who are there and they're all guest speakers and here for you, you know, here to help you to get through. And the biggest thing is that I felt like in the pandemic, a lot of people lost their mojo. They either started mm -hmm. gaining weight, they lost um, a sense of who they are, you mm -hmm. know, work, career, everything has changed. You became a, you either, you've either became a stay-at-home mom, if you couldn't do the work and teaching the kids at the same time, or you were doing all of that and who got neglected? You did. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to bring you back, right? That's why I said 22, yeah. we're going to bring you back. Yes, by the end of the year, you're going to feel well fulfilled and just ready to just kick it into 2023 and just keep it going. So we're inviting all you women. Just go to your Karen docs slash society to join. That's you are okay. -A -R -I -N -G -D -O -C -S dot com slash society. That's our your caring society for busy professional women featuring the one and only Dr. Tufa. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to bring us in. So, all righty, we're heading on to the hour. So we're going to say okay. hi to all our family. So do you want to give a shout yes. out to any of your family members? <laughs> I, I mean, I can't see who's watching right now, but I'm assuming that my sisters <laughs> are watching. Right. And yeah. uh, I, I, I know my daughters aren't because they're somewhere in the house. So they don't think they are. <laughs> They hear they hear this all the time because I do this I do I'm doing telehealth so and, and I do they a lot do, of this. Do I do all of my all of my weight loss uh, uh, coaching online so Wonderful. you know they're always hearing me delivering <laughs> this wonderful <laughs> yes, message. This message but yes. um, yeah so I'm just say hi and then just just to my cousin Geneva Johnson waiting Geneva, on that cheesecake I'm gonna be contacting you I know and I saw, I saw my family members too they were like what mm -hmm. really. So, you know, the yeah. thing that I loved about this wonderful session that we did today, and this was a special session, is that we really enlightened all of our listeners, our viewers on how to truly enjoy your holiday season, how to approach food, right? And not feel as if it's the enemy of joy. <laughs> you can still, you know, take that. Go ahead. Oh, we had somebody I just who really enjoyed well, this. Well, I have one thing I'd like to say. Absolutely. Go ahead. You have created a society mm -hmm. that is to uplift women. Absolutely. And you approached me to do this so that we could promote my course. <laughs> so you practice what you preach. I'm, so, I'm getting a little emotional because I just feel that that is just such a beautiful thing that you've done. And mm -hmm. that is absolutely what you say your, your society mm -hmm. is about uplifting women. I, I have been stressing about this launch. I have been, you know, worried. And you stepped up and that's exactly what your society says it's going to do. And you do it. And that's mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. Oh, thank you. Oh. My mother -in -law <laughs> says thank you too from Jamaica. I'm like, you got me crying. Okay. We're not going to get to your know, because we're about to get into you know, it. I'm, I'm in my, I'm 56 years old. I'm allowed to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> It's like you get to a point you're like, look, I am not look, it is what it is. Let me get my tissue. right here waiting. <laughs> you got the dab. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so our cousins are saying thank you both. Wonderful, wonderful. Mm. All righty, guys. We are good. Oh, Kimar. Wow, we have lots of people. 
you know, telling us mm -hmm. things. I really loved how you mm -hmm. broke it down. You really, you know, and now you understand why I love this lady so much, right? <laughs> why I love her so much. Thank you guys all for watching. All my family who's cooking, all your family who's cooking. And now, Everyone, oh my God. you know, go back. And you got to go back and listen to this. This is this interview was filled with so much jams, gems, 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 tons and tons. I loved it. And I can't wait to do more. And we can't wait to have you as a part of our society. I and also to have you as men out there who are all upset. No, Dr. Tuma says she got you. She oh, got you. Come on, you. Come on over. You. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your Thanksgiving, everyone. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.